Henley had to feel. Yeah, he has a bit confused. I can see that thought thought can feel. No, a thought can't feel. Yeah. No, a thought cannot feel. Yeah, I said that I uh, I see uh, that thought cannot cannot sorry. feel. I thought you said can. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. I, I'll tell you when, when you ask that mm. there was a confusion, but what, what is Liad? I don't know what, what Liad is. That's why but... I asked the question. That's why I want you to ponder this. Seriously ponder it. Can mm. Liad feel? Yeah. So the first question is, what is Liad? I'm confused about that. Um, well, go to this. Go to this. Second but I, I know this. Uh, but I know this. That. That's the first question, by the way. Some kind of feeling after after when I pondered it, there was some kind of feeling, yeah. of sadness, something, and um, yeah, that's that, doesn't belong to anything, you know. That's this saying that. There's a feeling of sadness. That's this saying that. Mind is saying that. Yeah, mind is saying that. Good. Don't confuse that with Liad saying that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, but I noticed that. There is feeling, but it doesn't. At the moment, at the moment, I saw that it doesn't belong to anyone. It's just, right. just second, feeling. Second question. Yeah. Can you feel, Leah? First question is: Can Leah feel? Second question: Can you feel, Leah? Notice that both those questions are binary to dual. Notice that both those questions are binary. So good. So can you feel Leah? Can Leah feel? Can you feel Leah? I my mind because I mean there is such blankness when I when I hear the word Liad, I don't know what it is. Mm -hmm. I'm using your name for a specific reason. Yeah. Can Liad feel? Can you feel a Liad? What would it be like to feel Liad? So when you say that, I feel there is the the feeling of me the the feeling like what they call me this this experience that they call me you know the I am right. the me well, feeling well know? then then the question Some kind of sensation yeah then the question would be who's feeling Leo hmm. Because there's two, right? Yeah, yeah. That's why I've set it up this way, yeah? Yeah. Can, can Liad feel? That's two. Can you feel a Liad? Second question, which would arise, is who's feeling Liad? Just sit with that for a minute. Both those questions. Can Liad feel? Can you feel a Liad? You're right in what you said earlier. It does come back to the question who or what's Liad? Yeah. Can Liad feel? So, to know the answer to that question, you'd have to know what Liad is. Yeah. And then can you feel a Liad? Again, you'd have to know the answer to the question of what's Liad. So now I have a sense of what Liad is. This feeling of me, of that there is a person here. And it's felt, but I don't know who is feeling. I don't know what is feeling it. Just... Ah, that's important. 
And that's good that you said, I don't know. Yeah. yeah. At, least, at least you didn't say it's Liad feeling Liad. No, no, it's not. It's not. It's an empty space feeling yeah. Liad. Yeah. See, when you know what Liad is, which is just a pattern of thoughts, yeah, and you know, you understand that you understand. Only as a, as, as a sensation and maybe tagging it as, as and maybe it's yeah maybe yeah it's it's an idea of, of something but it 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 contains sensations as well yeah feeling yeah yeah but what we need to do first is we need to identify can Liad feel and can you feel Liad mm. just let's just use logic just logic If you need to go back to what's Liad, to understand both those two questions, do it. But do it now. Yeah, no, I kind of see now what, what Liad is in my own understanding, in my own mind. Yeah. But when you ask, can Liad feel, um... You said a moment ago, sure about thoughts that. can't feel. You said a moment ago, a pattern of thoughts can't feel. Yeah. yeah. Liad is based on the pattern of thoughts, correct? Correct? It's more like an experience. Liad is an experience of sensations and thoughts. Yeah, that's what the thoughts say. <laughs> that's why we get stuck there, right there is where we get stuck on this path. Yeah. So we need to, we need to uncover the truth here. Yeah. And Liad feel. I'm not saying don't don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that there's not feeling happening, but the question is is it Liad experiencing the feeling? Or I'd prefer to word the, use the word sensation because this is going to make up all sorts of stories about a particular yeah. sensation and start calling it different things. And then this believes what it's calling that sensation, which then creates the loop, oh, I'm suffering. I'm not happy. I'm alone. I'm isolated. I feel cut off from everybody. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Yeah. So, can Liad feel? If you're not sure with that one, yeah, go to the second yeah. question. Can you can you feel a Liad? You have to know what Liad is. I see, I see a Liad. You see a Liad. Yeah. Good. Who sees Liad? Is it Liad seeing Liad? Obviously not. No, it's not Liad seeing Liad. Good. Who's seeing Liad? Something with the capacity to, to see, to know. Yeah, good. <laughs> can, can, good. Can a thought see? No. So it's not that. It's not a thought. So it's not a thought? Yeah. No. Some, good. There's something else happening. See, what I'm trying to show you here is, and it happens around, around about the age of two, is somewhere around the age of two, mind starts identifying with this presence, with this consciousness, with this awareness, and starts calling this Liat. The mind does yeah. that, right? But before the age of two, say around the age of 12 months, when, when um, word thought had not yet developed because we're too young to learn language, there's no Liad there. But they're seeing, hearing, tasting, touching, smelling. The, the baby at 12 months old is conscious, it's aware, yeah, but with none of this going on. <laughs> effectively, yeah. effectively, non-dual. 
Because the only thing that creates duality is this. <clears throat> the only thing. If I get you, <clears throat> excuse me. What would the experience be if all thought stopped? For 10 minutes, all thought simply stopped. In that period of 10 minutes, would there still be two? I mean, in a sense, yes, because you will see colors, you will see objects still, no? No, this is doing that. Yeah. If, if, if all thought collapsed, yeah, would you know a tree? But I will not see blankness, you know, I will see, an, I will see, what? I will not see colors, I mean. This, I, it's this that identifies what colors is. Look, the seeing itself, yeah, the seeing itself, yeah? does it see division? Does it, does it, does the seeing itself know the difference between that color and that color? The seeing. Does the seeing say that tree is separate from that tree? The seeing. You need the no, mind. The there is than, but if there is more than one color, it doesn't matter how is the separation, it doesn't mean that there is duality. <laughs> Without the mind, can there be a tree? Um, Let's do this just for a second, okay? Let's assume that we can both see a tree right now, okay? Let's assume. And I say to you, what's that? And you say to me, it's a tree. And I say, okay, remove the label tree. Now tell me what it is. You go, well, it's wood. I say, good. Now remove the label wood. And you go, well, there's color there. There's brown trunk and there's green leaves. And I say, good. Now remove both those labels, brown and green leaves. Remove them because they're just labels. Yeah. Now what's there? I'm trying to get you to see that the mind is dependent upon word. And then what the mind does, it takes the word to be the thing. Because in the absence of the word, it's no longer a tree. Same applies with color. Exactly the same with color. Red, purple. Okay, Let's remove the label red and let's remove the label purple. Now what do we got? And the mind might step in and say, well, yeah, but that red is different from that purple. I say, okay, good. Now let's remove that thought. Now what do we got? From our direct, direct experience, from the seeing experience, now what do we got? Does the seeing divide? Does the seeing discriminate? Does the, does the seeing identify what space is? Does it see space? <laughs> the seeing doesn't see and doesn't know shit, doesn't know anything. It's just pure seeing. Doesn't say anything, doesn't discriminate at all. It's not until this yeah. steps in, it's not until this steps in, yeah, and says, I see red, I see purple. I see a tree over there and I see a tree over there. When this steps in, thoughts. It's only yeah. thoughts that are saying that, right? So if they all just collapsed, completely collapsed, and there was zero thoughts, would there still so be? Are you actually seeing without thoughts? Beg your pardon? Yeah. Yeah. But you were at, there's seeing occurring. There's no doubt about it. But the seeing doesn't divide. It doesn't discriminate. Mm -hmm. The seeing doesn't. The seeing doesn't know what a tree is. 
the seeing doesn't know what red is or what purple is. It's this <laughs> that gives it those names and those labels. So just the pure, unadulterated seeing. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get you to see what the mind continually creates. I'm trying to get you to see past that, if you can. Yeah? Like, <clears throat> if you know that the mind is not conscious or thoughts are not conscious, yeah? if you know that, and we can agree that to have any experience, you have to be conscious. To have any experience, we must be conscious. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Good, because if we're unconscious, the lights go out, everything disappears. Yeah? So to have any experience, we must be conscious. Now, if you can yeah. see, if you can see the mind is not conscious, what the hell is it basing its story on? What's it basing the story of Liad on? Nothing. Absolutely nothing at all. So whatever it's saying about Liad is not true. For example, yeah. I went yes. skiing. I went skiing ten years ago, and I fell over and broke my leg. Me, Liad, I fell over and broke my leg. This can't yeah. experience a broken leg. This can't experience consciousness. This can't experience awareness. This cannot experience pain. This yeah. Yeah? is there pain? Is there awareness? Is there consciousness? Yes, yes, there is, no doubt. Yeah. But it's this that creates the Liad and says, hi, my name's Liad and I'm conscious and aware. And I feel my body. I experience my body, says this. Do you understand? Even if, okay, that's it. So it's not Liad that feels the pain, but there is pain. If there, there was pain, pain, yeah. If there was pain. That we call pain. Yeah. And it's unpleasant, like. Yeah. Isn't it suffering? The, Even if there is the a Liad. No, no, no. The suffering only comes in when Liad is introduced. There's pain, yes. But the suffering is about Liad oh. that's saying, I'm lying here and my leg's broken and it hurts and I'm suffering and oh, 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 oh. that's but mine. Isn't there something inherent about um, pain that is unpleasant? To experience. According to mind, yes. Without According to mind, yes. But look, I want to denote the difference between pain and suffering. Suffering is yeah. all psychological. Suffering is all yeah. psychological. Yeah? Pain is a direct experience. Direct. Yeah? There's a difference. And most people are walking around, most, yeah, not experiencing physical pain, but they're experiencing psychological pain, suffering. Why? Because they're taking this to be true. <laughs> it's, it's crazy. Yeah. <clears throat> but, but if, you know, are you not afraid of, 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 of pain? Like if someone just oh. cuts your hand off, like, what what you know how, how do you think about how, how do you what would be experienced is pain that's all does it create fear in you when they said someone someone will cut your hand off <laughs> i'd probably <laughs> i'd probably fight i'd probably resist i'd probably do whatever whatever it is that i could to stop the hand being cut off why because it's painful i would know this is gonna hurt not painful for you. There is no turns. No. So correct. why does it matter to, to you? Correct, correct. But there's but what I'm saying is there's no Terence, but something's here. Terence can't feel. Terence is not conscious. Yet there's consciousness here. There's feeling that happens here. Okay, but, but is consciousness afraid of 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 a hand no. cut? No. Consciousness itself, no. So if no. the realization why, why there is fear about it? Why is there fear about it? Your no, your look, our natural disposition is the love to be. Our natural disposition. Yeah. Our, also, our natural disposition 
would be to avoid physical pain where and when possible. It's our natural disposition. Why? Because our because of our love to be. You know, like if somebody walked in the room right now and they put their hands around your throat and they started squeezing and they started squeezing the life out of you and you couldn't breathe, you would fight. You would fight. Not for the sake of survival, for the sake of the love to be. That's our primary, that's the primary love, is the love to be. <laughs> to be. Yeah. The problem is when the mind steps in, you know, it makes statements like, yeah, you know, Liad loves to be. <laughs> yeah. So this awareness, this consciousness, this beingness, this here-ness, this nowness is happening. The only problem is we've been taking this to be Leah or Terence our whole life. And I, it's yeah. my job to try and get you to see that this that is conscious, this that is aware, can't possibly be a Leah. Can't possibly be. When you know absolutely what you're not, yeah, you arrive with you arrive here. Oh, now the question might arise, and it may not too, but the question might arise: Oh my God, what's this? But that question wouldn't arise until you absolutely knew what you weren't, because we assume yeah. that we assume that this is Terence or Leo. It's an assumption there. And then we make statements like, I'm walking around and I'm feeling sad, I'm feeling happy, I'm feeling blue, I'm feeling whatever. Yeah? But the yeah. the, the Liad and thoughts can't feel. Yeah? Now, even the sensation that may be occurring in the body as a result of thoughts being there and, and so on and so forth, what the thoughts are saying about that sensation is also not true. For example, I'm feeling really sad, says this. Yeah. Is there a feeling? Yes. Is what the mind is saying about that feeling true? No. Absolutely not. 100% not. Yeah, there is a sensation only. Yeah. And then, and then that sensation gets branded with a story yeah? yeah and then and then what believes that story is simply another story that arises in mind also yeah 